Okay, guys, you've selected a Stroker LS. You already want to make more torque. The question now is, which camshaft do I pick for my Stroker application to make even more torque? Hello everybody, I'm Richard Elder, and as always, a welcome to the channel before we get into our conversation of which camshaft you guys would pick to make more torque, you know, on your 408 Stroker LS, because, you know, it's all about torque. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff so you get notified. I want to do all this testing. Today I want to talk about building a 408 Stroker LS and which camshaft you guys would pick to make the maximum amount of torque. Basically, I'm going to ask you, where do you want your torque production? Because we ran a stock cam, we ran a little truck cam, we had a medium-sized performance cam, and then a big performance cam that made lots and lots of power. But what we didn't run is the camshaft that I think would be the ideal combination for this 408 to make the most amount of torque and the most amount of horsepower. Guess which camshaft it is, but right now let's take a look and see how all the others did. Okay, let's jump right in and talk about making torque with a large displacement stroke motor. In this case, it was a 408. So what we had was a six liter iron block. And then to that, we changed the stock crank and we also changed the bore size. So stepping up in both bore and stroke allowed us to make more displacement. And the first thing that you want to do if you're looking for, especially more low speed power, upping, there's no, nothing better than upping displacement. Yes, you can add boost and that will also work very well. But in terms of your normal NA modifications, the camshaft, the cylinder heads, the indic manifold, None of those other things are going to add nearly as much displacement as this, as if going to, you know, from a 5.3 to a 3.83, or in this case, from a 6.0 to a 4.08. That's definitely going to add power everywhere, and that's exactly where we started. So what we did was took our iron 6-liter block, we bored it 30 over, and we added a 4-inch stroker crank to this thing. Now let's take a look. In addition to the 4-inch uh, steel stroker crank, we added 6.125 forge rods, and then a 4030 Ford uh, 10cc dish piston. We top this off with a set of Airflow Research 245 heads. We're going to get into why that probably wouldn't be my choice if I was just looking for low speed power, but you're not going to gain a whole bunch. They actually work fairly well. We started off with the stock rocker assembly, the cylinder heads, uh, the Airflow Research 245 heads already had a dual spring package on them so that we could run, and we would eventually run four or five different camshafts in this thing. But to start off with, we ran it with the um, stock uh, 5.3, the LM7 camshaft. We also installed a set of inch and three-quarter long tube headers, and then we started off with a fast LSXRT intake manifold. We're going to talk a little bit about maybe why I might pick something else if you were looking for low-speed power on this thing. It depends on, again, as always, where you're looking for that power. And that will definitely come into play when we start talking about camshafts on this thing. So we had big enough injectors. We had a Holly HP management system. We had our Mazira electric water pump. We ran this thing on the dyno the way that we always do this thing. And um, run in this manner with our stock camshaft. So we'll start off with basically your bare bones stock camshaft. And this thing should actually make a fairly good bit of low speed power since it's such a mild camshaft on a big motor. So run in this manner. Our 408 produced 450 horsepower, 449.6 or 7. And then uh, peak torque checked in at 522 foot-pounds. So good torque, not a lot of horsepower, very, very stock, mild camshaft. So the first camshaft that we put in this basically was a crane version of a what we would call a stage one truck camshaft. So let's take a look at that. So you can see we got good gains here. Not only did we get more peak power with our camshaft, we got 515 horsepower. We also got a good bit more peak torque, 556 foot-pounds of torque, but the peak occurred later. So the peak with the stock camshaft occurred at 3,900 RPM, 3,900 or 4,000. And then with this smaller 206 stage one truck cam, it pushed peak power all the way out to 4,600 RPM. But please note that even though we made peak torque at a higher engine speed, this thing still had as much or more torque than the stock cam all the way down to our starting point of 2,700. And it looks to me like this would continue. This is a small enough camshaft where a motor of this displacement and this airflow and stuff that I think of <coughs> this thing would continue to do as well as the stock cam unless we went all the way down below 2000 RPM, which would basically be below the stall speed of anything that you would have with a stock transmission. So this is a good combination. I do like this combination for towing. Again, 
if I were to have uh, or to be building a combination just for for power that I was looking at for you know for 4500 and below, I probably would not pick the LSXRT intake manifold, and I probably would not pick the Airflow Research 245 heads. Although they obviously are both of them are doing fairly well here, we might get a few more uh, a few more um, foot pounds of torque down low with either the truck manifold or the Trailblazer SS intake manifold, and we wouldn't have to spend the extra 1000 or $1,200 on the fast manifold, but they might do a little bit better, but you definitely are going to trade power elsewhere in the curve. So now let's take a look and see what happens when we go up even further in camshaft. Okay, we're taking a look at what happens when we run our 408 with a stock camshaft. And then when we run the 408 with, you know, a, a fairly good camshaft upgrade, at least for somebody looking for more torque, which was kind of a stage one-ish truck cam from the guys at Cran. I, go, I went ahead and put the um, specs up there so you guys could take a look at it. You know, it's a 500 lift to a 6212 kind of thing. And that would be something within the range of camshafts that you'd be looking at to do, you know, a, a torque upgrade. You're not going to get a ton more power. Did We did add 50 or more horsepower, so that's pretty good. And, but the thing is, we didn't lose any power down low. So now let's take a look and see what happens when we step up even further in camshaft. In this case, we went to a 224 cam. I'll go ahead and put the specs up. But it's the 224, 232 cam that I run in lots and lots of stuff. And it's a good go-to kind of performance cam. But let's see how well it worked on our 408. And you can see we got we got really big power gains. So we went from 449 horsepower all the way up to 584 horsepower. So we got a ton of power. You know, they're, this thing stormed on the big end. It's making good power. It made peak power out here at uh, 57, 5,800, 5,900. All in that range, it's all within one horsepower. So, And then we, we could rev this thing all the way out to 6,500. Peak torque happened here at 4,700 RPM, where we're making 566 foot-pounds. So peak torque definitely up compared to the stock camshaft of only 522 foot-pounds. But I want you to look here uh, at the at the 3,900, 3,800 RPM range and below. The 224 cam is actually starting to lose a little bit of power. So it's trading, <coughs> excuse me, it's trading power down low in that RPM range compared to the stock cam. Now, not a lot. We could see they're just kind of, you know, it's, we're talking about five, six, eight foot pounds of torque. Below 3,000, it's going to be considerably more. This is a camshaft that I would start to think about, even on this 408. I'd start to think about, you know, let's put a converter in this thing. Let's put a 2,800 or a 3,000 RPM stall converter in. And then the combination would work really, really good. This thing is making, you know, at 4,000 RPM, it's making as much or more power than the stock camshaft was. And then there on out, you're making a lot more. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to go ahead and show you an overlay. We're going to get rid of our stock cam. And let's take a look at the 224 cam versus the 206 cam. So this is this is really telling. So now you can see, look, the 206 cam was making more torque than the stock one below 4,500 RPM. Now you can see there's a trade-off there. So here's the thing. <laughs> if you're looking for power 4,500 and below, that 206 cam, like a little, little stage one kind of truck cam, probably a pretty good choice. If you're looking for power above 4,500 RPM, then if you know more performance oriented deal, then at least this 224 cam on a 408, definitely the way to go. This is very important. Where do you want to make your power? <laughs> Which one is more important? There's always going to be a trade-off. In fact, let's take a look and see here. We stepped up in camshaft even further to a 240 degree duration cam. And you can see we made a lot more power. Peak power was all the way up to 625 horsepower. In fact, it made more power than the 224 cam. All, all kind of crossing over at the same point. All of this 4,400 RPM range and above, the bigger cam was definitely the way to go. In fact, I'd put the bigger cam in. If I wanted power above the 44, 4,500 RPM range, I wouldn't pick the 224 cam. I would pick the bigger 240 cam because it makes more power than the 224 cam from that point on all the way up. So if you're looking for performance, that's definitely the way to go. But if we look at the RPM range below that, the bigger camshaft definitely making less torque than the 224 cam and a lot less torque than the smaller 206 cam. So it's very important. And unfortunately, there's no like magic camshaft here that's going to give us all of one and all of the other in terms of horsepower and torque. But here's the camshaft that I wish we would have tried, but unfortunately, when I ran this test, it was not available. So if we look, and we're, we're going to get rid of our big camshaft here. So if we look at these two, this is our 206 
and our 224 cam. So if one of them has more torque down low and one of them has more horsepower up top, what camshaft would we pick between a 206 and the 224 cam like to make, you know, maybe the best of both worlds. Here's the camshaft that I wish I would run. I don't have this motor anymore, but I wish you would have had available and a camshaft that I think would be a really, really good compromise between these two. And that's something like the Brian Tooley Racing Truck Norris cam. We know that the Truck Norris cam is better than a stage one truck cam. In fact, we know that it's better than the stage one truck cam everywhere. It's going to make as much or more low speed power than like a 206 cam like this, like a stage one, and even the Brian Tweed Racing stage one truck cam. We know that the truck Norris cam is going to make more torque down low than a stage one truck cam. We also know it's going to make quite a bit more power up top than a stage one truck cam. So what I think would happen, and you guys let me know in the comments if you guys agree with me, you can tell me no, you can tell me yes, tell me whatever you want, but make sure to make a comment. I think here, I, this is what I think would happen. For a 408, the Truck Norris cam, if we're looking for like something making good like torque and good average power, what I think is a Truck Norris cam is not going to make quite the average or quite, quite the peak power of the 224 cam. But I think what it will do is make more torque down low than the Stage 1 truck cam and a lot more power up top than the Stage 1 truck cam. It's just not going to make quite as much as that 224 cam is on the big end, but I think it's going to be a lot closer to the 224 in peak power and more than the 206 in torque, making it the ideal compromise for a stroker guy looking for lots of power and torque. Armature Dolo, please make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, make sure to comment. Let me know if you think something like that, Chapacabra or the Truck Norris camera or whatever, would be an ideal compromise on this 408, and I'll keep testing.